No way! They got an early one! No way! Provorov! No way! He shoots it. It goes off a Wepper. No way! What the heck? That's clearly off Weber, bro. I was wearing this shirt for a reason. The price is right. No, the price is not right. Oh my gosh, man. It's one nothing Philly, 28 seconds in. How's life been? Um, it was better like a minute ago. <laughs> I will say that. Oh my gosh. There's a chance in front they score. Another goal. Kevin Hayes. So um, it's 2 nothing. It's 2 nothing Philly. 2 nothing Philly. And, um, you know, this is not the, the, not the outcome we wanted five minutes and 23 seconds in. I mean, at least the Habs killed off that power play, but that was a weird, weird goal. Look at this one. It played back behind the net to Grant. Shoved out in front. Ooh, Kevin Hayes goes through the five-hole of Price, and it goes in. It looks like the Price so far has not been right. That's a stinker, man. That's an absolute stinker. That's a stinker. Chat is like, uh-oh, it's over. It's nice when it lasted. I'm crying. Oh, man. Well... If the Dallas-Calgary game taught us anything, it is always to belief. 3 nothing comebacks are nothing to scoff at. 2 nothing in this case. But Carey Price, man, two goals against on three shots. Ooh, ooh, what do we think about that? Druan goes over, Suzuki down low. Weber takes it up, top of the umbrella, Petrie goes back to Weber, Petrie gets it again. Suzuki fakes the pass, Armia with a shot in the middle, they score! Nick Suzuki! And the goal horn for Al's donation goes off right at the same time! No way! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Habs fan highlights, man! This is what we were saying! Calm down! They've got this! Armia! Suzuki! The tip! I love that delay on the donation, because the goal horn went off right when Suzuki scored. Oh my gosh. The price is right. Price didn't do anything. That, that's the goaltender. But like, perfect timing. Everybody's talking about it. This chat's going crazy. Let's go, boys and girls, too. Oh my gosh. It is a new game. It absolutely is a new game. Chat, yeah, let her hear it, let her hear it. Let's, you know, get the get the appreciations going on in there. I can't believe that. Suzuki, man, he should have did another head pat. <laughs> and now the Flyers come back. Here's a mini three-on-one. Voracek, drop pass, shot, save made. It's in! They score! It's three to one, Philly. What the heck, man? That's like their seventh shot of the game. You see, it's not Carey Price's fault, but, like, oh, man. Was that a shot by Sanheim? Raffle the Voracek, Voracek back over, high slot, Sanheim a shot, it's loose. Went off a something. I swear to goodness gracious if that went off a Canadian again. Oh, my gosh, where's that replay? Oh, it's off the post! And off of Carey Price's pants? No way. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Six shots on goal, three goals against for Carey Price. Flyers just said, ah, we'll ruin Carey Price's safe percentage here today. And that is uh, what they've done. A Drew and out in front, they score! It is, who is that? Nick Suzuki! Nick Suzuki with his second goal of the game. Okay. Okay. Lego, we washed the shirt? No, we actually did not wash the shirt. After the stream, I took the shirt off, 
hung it away, and I said, you know, we got to wear the stream for the next game. But what a cross-crease pass over there by Druan. Druan is redeeming himself, man. Everybody was harping on Druan. And now Nick Suzuki. That's the kind of goal that I would score in NHL 20. That is exactly the kind of goal. Pop it out, fake the space, open up Nick Suzuki on the far side, and score. Go cross crease. That's the exact kind of goal that I would kind of. That, that's the exact kind of goal that I would score. But Nick Suzuki, man, assisted by Druan. It's three two. I, I I appreciate you so much for that, BJ Ballin. But I think it's kind of the team that I like. There you go. There's the goal horn. The team that I like. They have been so good for the first forty minutes. What did Suzuki do? He got two goals. That's what he did. But okay. Ten seconds to go. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Ten point nine seconds. Faceoff is dropped. And Thompson has it now. Thompson plays it into his own corner trying to kill the time. Two seconds to go. And that is all she wrote. The Philadelphia Flyers have defeated the Montreal Canadiens in six games. And we have a scrum that's ensuing after the final horn. Suzuki, Carter Hart getting involved. Weber touching up on Provorov. They give each other a few shoves. And that's all she wrote. The Montreal Canadiens 2019-2020 season is over. And if you want to stick around, we can stick around for some uh, post-game thoughts. The Canucks game doesn't start for five minutes, but... People were saying it on Twitter. No matter what happens with the Canadiens, super, super proud of this team. This team looked like the better team for the majority of this hockey game and for the majority of the series. And on a team that didn't have Brendan Gallagher, that didn't have Claude Julien, that didn't have Kotkin Yemi for a part of game number five, this team looked great. And this team showed to the rest of the hockey world that despite the fact that they were 24th in the entire league in the regular season, you give these sons of guns a few months off and they can come back swinging a miss. Crazy good performance by the Habs. They gave up Alexi Lafreniere the opportunity to get Alexi Lafreniere and, if not Alexi Lafreniere, the ninth overall pick for a short, brief stint against the Flyers. Their draft pick drops down to 16th overall. It'll stay there at 16th overall because they're not going to get to the third round of the playoffs. But the Montreal Canadiens proved everybody. They proved to everybody that they can compete and that they are legit. So... I'm going to stop this up. going to upload it as a separate video. I want to get some other thoughts out there. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe in two days. Maybe in three days. I just want to, you know, analyze this a little bit more. But the Montreal Canadiens have been eliminated. And that is our timeline that we're living in right here. You know, it does kind of sting because they were the better team in my opinion. They were the better team. And for the Flyers going up against the Tampa Bay Lightning, or excuse me, they're going to go up against, um, who? Uh, the Boston Bruins, I think. We'll see what ha Or no, actually, they're going up against the Islanders, that's right. We'll see how they do against New York. But the chat, you know, chat, thank you so much for being here. Anybody who clicked on this video, anybody who clicked on this live stream, I think we're going to go, but I appreciate you all for clicking on this, for giving me the time of your day. Price is Right shirt couldn't get it done. Cristobal Huey figure could not get it done. I'm going to hang this back on my wall. The Canadians, they weren't able to win it for Gallagher. Who knows? If Gallagher's in this game, that's a different game. That's a different game. But, oh my gosh, they gave Suzuki a few head pats. That's amazing. Who did that? That's why Weber went after him. Oh, the disrespect. No, I kind of love it, though. I kind of love it. So, one of my favorite teams gets eliminated here tonight. The other one has a game in about four minutes. So, let's see what happens there.
Thank you to everybody who checked out the stream. Thank you for all the donations, the likes, the subs, all that stuff. I appreciate you all so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this series. I hope you enjoyed this stream. I hope you enjoyed the entire season. So, here's that show us in 99. And, bye.